I say, well, the thumbnail doesn't give away another beer and popcorn review. Well, a Japanese beer and popcorn. We have another of the, uh, from the Kyoto. Probably not going to focus, given the text. Kuro Mame Ale. It's roasted black bean flavor with a smoky taste. Really? Yeah. Followed by Kizakura Company in Kyoto, Japan. So. Yeah, there is a cat issue. Again, just like yesterday. You see one here, one is throwing a fit down below. Look at that. Compared to yesterday, perfect pour. It definitely has that smoky uh, smell to it. Um, not really so sure about the uh, black bean flavor part, though. And to go with it, same brand, Tokyo Stop Popcorn. Spicy and aromatic curry. And also, you just saw our outside cat for the first time, who's in my room. Charlie. Uh, I have cats everywhere. Ingredients, popcorn, vegetable oil, which is coconut oil, so be... Oh, it's Sam? I don't know if Charlie left the room or not. Soybean oil, palm oil, contains 2% or less of salt, onion powder, spices, including turmeric and red chili, non-fat dry milk solids, monosodium glutamate, soy lecithin, vegetable mono and diglycerides. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I butchered it most likely. Citric acid, maximum artificial flavor, beta carotene. Contains milk, soy, and coconut. Delicious tea pops curry popcorn captures the essence of Japanese curry, a hearty blend of spices, oil, and aromatics in a ready, anytime savory snack. Enjoy flavors of pepper, coriander, turmeric, and other spices paired with a bold kick of curry heat. Oh, I heard something behind me. First, we're going to go with the beer. Again. Definitely got like a it definitely reminds me of a stout, to be honest. I don't get the black bean flavor. Definitely get the smokiness. It reminds me of like a slightly less darker, um, reminds me of a Guinness, to be perfectly honest. It reminds me of Guinness. That's what it reminds me of. And if you ask that's a bad thing, no. I enjoy Guinness from time to time. It's actually really good. Now let's see if I failed this bag like I did yesterday. Oh, I probably will. There's nothing for me to go about to open this. Nope. Didn't fail. Whew. Yeah. That definitely smells like Japanese curry. And I, I love curry. Uh... Like, it probably won't focus, to be honest. 
those little yellow spots and all that. It's actually from the curry uh, spices and all that. Not overpowering. It feels like even like a fresh, like stove popped popcorn. And you just put like spices over it. Um, just like the correct amount. Not overbearing. It could it could use a little more. But it's not underwhelming at the same time. It's almost at that sweet spot. You're gonna scratch out, aren't you, Chad? Ooh, that would have more flavor to it. Both of these pair off quite nicely. I think I made the right decision in that when I chose to do this and then the matcha together with more matcha yesterday. Would I recommend this? Oh, absolutely. Again, these bottles, I think the bottles of beer like, like alone, I think there are $6 a bottle just for that. Um, but considering they aren't like everyday things you can find everywhere, Really not that bad. I think I spent, no, it was $7. $7 on this, $7 for the matcha. I think like a dollar thirty each for the popcorn. So. Again, I only got like one beer a piece on that. Hmm. Hope you all enjoyed this. You're going to get a very special present. I might do this, that video today once I'm done with this beer. I might do a second beer review. But that will probably premiere tomorrow. I'll probably record it and set it for them. Um, I know one person is intrigued my, by my opinion. Again, drinking buddies. Another person has an interest because they enjoy craft beer. Love craft beer. It's, I'm so glad I learned that that whole world is open to me. I can't go back. Once you start, you can't go back. So, hope you enjoyed this. I definitely did. This is Zara Maru, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And on days, if you're in the blistering heat, drink a beer. Maybe like a citrus IPA or a cider in the heat, and yeah, go for a go for a cider. That'd be great in this heat. Till next time.